Hello, I'm Samantha from Love My Libra and we're going to be talking in this video about Libra 2. I'm very excited that it's out now and I'm going to be discussing the advantages and disadvantages. So let's get started. It's great news. The Libra 2 has got real-time alarms, a much wanted feature. And these work independently of you scanning your Libra sensor. Like Libra 1, it works on a smartphone or with a reader. There's a new blue reader especially for the Libra 2. And unfortunately, it's not backwards compatible, so it won't work with the Libra 1 sensor. There are three types of alarms for alerting you when your glucose levels are high, low or if the reader loses signal. You can choose your own levels for these, allowing for personalisation and enabling you to take proactive action. Libra 2 is the same cost to the NHS as Libra 1, so everyone should be upgraded. You may want to mention this to your GP when requesting an upgrade. Remember that 10 minute time lag compared to finger prick tests? The time lag for Libra 2 has been substantially reduced to only 2 minutes 6 seconds. The MARD, which stands for Mean Absolute Relative Difference, is now 9.3%, down from 11.4% for Libra 1. This means that Libra 2 is more accurate when compared to a blood test carried out in a lab and it should improve the accuracy of that estimated HbA1c figure on Libralink. And now let's look at some of the disadvantages of Libra 2. Of key importance here is the fact that alarms will only sound on the initiating device. You have to decide with each sensor whether to use a smartphone or the new reader. If you initiate with the reader, you can still use a smartphone for scans, but alarms will only sound from the reader. If you initiate with the smartphone, the alarms will sound from the smartphone, but you cannot use the reader at all. A key difference between Libra 1 and 2 is that Libra 2 now uses Bluetooth to continuously connect to the initiating device. This type of connection is power hungry and will drain the battery of your device much faster than Libra 1. The reader lasts up to four days between charges and smartphone battery life is also significantly reduced. Libra 2 has a six meter unobstructed range. Walls can block the signal. In practice, this means keeping your initiating device in the same room as your sensor, or ideally on your person. The Libra 2 reader has just two volume settings, high and low. Alarms on phones are linked to ringtone volume, although there is the option to override a do not disturb setting, if desired. Overall, Libra 2 offers use as an upgrade rather than a new model. You still need to scan to get your glucose levels, but having alarms can give the reassurance for both users and carers. Improvements in MARD and the reduced time lag are real positives that should prove a real benefit for your diabetes management. If you'd like to know more, take a look at our Libra Life Special Report, available on our website. And for more tips and guidance, like and subscribe to our channel. Good luck with your Libra too.